Okay, so I already boiled the water and then put this thing into it and now I have to stir it. Says Stir the mixture with your mixing stick until all of the chemical grains have dissolved completely. Hey right there. So I guess I'll keep stirring. And I have a low battery. Yay. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. Ouch. Just keep stirring, stirring. Is all of it gone? I think so. Do you guys see anything? No, I think it's all gone. Then place the rocks in the bottom of the growing cup and then pour it in there. Oh, I have to wait till it cools. <laughs> Let it burn the rocks. <laughs> okay. Place that somewhere. I don't know where to place it. Ooh, ooh, place it back in the thing. Place it back in the thing. There we go. So we are on step four, which is place the granite rocks in the bottom of the growing cup. Which, where did my rocks go? Haha. <laughs> of course, I can't videotape myself doing this. Oh, there goes the rock. I broke it. Pumpkin, get out of the way. <laughs> Mom, it was in a bag. Oh, okay. They can't get it. Well, this is a pretty rock. Rock number two. Two rocks. Okay. Then you take it and place it in there. Flat. Like. Then it says, after the mixture has cooled for a while, pour the mixture into the growing cup. Fill it almost to the top. I don't know when this thing has cooled. Nope, it's still very hot. Okay. From paper cup, take the few seed crystals which you saved and carefully deposit these at different places on top of the rock which is on the bottom of the crystal growing cup. You may just let these seed crystals sink down to th through the liquid and land on the rocks. So wait. That has to cool down. Then pour it in there. Then put that on there. And then the last step, set your crystal growing cup in a place where it will not be disturbed by movement or changes in temperature. Allow the crystals to grow for three or four days at which you can remove them. So I'll see y'all in three or four days.